So here we have uh, the D1 line where white has just played uh, D4 and um, this allows black to to follow the plan of exchanging rooks in the, the E file and then transferring uh, the second rook to E7 uh, like this, rook takes E1, queen takes E1 and then this rook A7 is uh, a good idea in this line planning rook E7 of course and um, in the game we're about to follow here which is uh, an aunt Aronian from 2008 uh, Anand played bishop e3 in this position Aronian played rook e7 as planned knight d2 developing the knight queen e8 it's normal to double um, in the e-file like this and um, knight f1 and now comes a very strong idea from uh, Aronian he played uh, h5 here um, a4 followed, bishop e6, bishop d1, and h4, throwing the h-pawn at the white king position. a takes b5, a takes b5, and bishop f3, trying to control some of the light squares around uh, the king. Bishop h3 followed, and in these kind of positions it's always uh, difficult for white to judge uh, what he should do, because on one hand, he would love to keep his light square bishop on the board because these light squares are very weak uh, as soon as this uh, bishop goes. But on the other hand, he would also like to, to eliminate this uh, knight on uh, d5. So it's always a balanced uh, judgment for white if he should uh, exchange on d5 or not. And in this uh, game, Anand judges that he needs to get rid of the knight uh, uh, on d5, so he takes it. And now the light squares are very weak ar around the uh, white king, which is uh, the normal setup in the, in the martial attack. C takes d5, queen d5, queen d1, sorry. And now comes uh, another strong move from uh, Aronian. He plays f5, sending the second pawn towards uh, white's king and also opening up for the queen to go to g6 or to h4 h5 sorry bishop g5 follows with a double attack on the pawn on h4 and the rook uh, and Aronian plays rook e4 and it's clear that uh, black has the initiative in the game although an aunt is uh, allowed to take the pawn on uh, h4 uh, black is in the driving seat queen g6 threatening the bishop which has to move to d8 and then comes f4 and uh, queen d3 pinning the rook to the queen so uh, Aronian plays queen h5 and in this position Anand starts uh, making a, a questionable uh, knight maneuver he plays knight d2 here and after rook e2 from Aronian then knight f3 which is uh, of course threatening the rook on e2 because this is not no longer protected by the queen um, and he might hope to put this uh, knight on uh, on e5 or g5 um, but Aronian has a beautiful and a decisive move in this position he can play rook e3 and now the knight is on priest uh, and Anand can do no better than to take the rook f takes e3 but then queen takes f3 and queen c2 to cover the checkmate on g2 and then f takes g h takes g3, queen takes g3, king h1, and then bishop f5, and Anand decided to resign the game in this position because there is no defense to uh, to bishop e4 check, and checkmate is uh, just around the corner. So uh, this was uh, a brilliant uh, win for Aronian after only a few inaccuracies from uh, Anand. So, um, interesting stuff uh, for the black ma martial player to, to study in this line.